Let's meet Maria. She is the 45-year-old teacher who is trying to get an early preemptive kidney transplant. After learning how to find a living donor with our team, Maria learned how to reach out to her family and community regarding her need for a kidney. Luckily, Maria's 21-year-old daughter, Rosalina, has come forward as a potential donor. Before we can move forward, we have to check if Rosalina is a compatible donor, which means she could donate directly to Maria. When determining donor-recipient compatibility, we look at blood types and HLA antibodies. There are four blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Blood type AB is considered a universal recipient, meaning they can receive from any blood type. However, if you have a blood type A, you can only receive a kidney from a donor with a blood type A or blood type O. If you have a blood type B, you can only receive a kidney from a donor with a blood type B or blood type O. And if you have a blood type O, you are compatible with donors who are also blood type O. Normally, when we talk about your blood type, you also hear a positive or a negative at the end. This is called the RH type, and that doesn't matter for kidney donation. We also look to see if the cross match between you and the donor would be negative. Cross matching is a test where we mix your blood plasma, the liquid part of your blood, and your potential donor's red blood cells to see if there is a reaction. A reaction would mean that you are sensitized and would likely reject the kidney from this donor. Getting a negative result on a cross match is a good thing because it means the donor is compatible. During the cross match test, we look at your donor's human leukocyte antigen, or HLA. We all have HLA, which are markers on the outside of your cells that tell you your immune system cells are your own versus cells that don't belong. Any cell that does not have these markers will be attacked by your immune system's soldiers, the antibodies. So HLA helps your body fight off things like a bacteria or virus. Sometimes people can become sensitized, which means they develop antibodies against certain other HLA markers. These are called anti-HLA antibodies. Sensitization typically happens through previous blood transfusions, pregnancy, or previous transplants. All recipients are tested for these anti-HLA antibodies during their evaluation. Many recipients do not have any antibodies, but if they are found, potential donors are tested. If the recipient has no antibodies against that donor, then they would be negative cross-match, which is a good thing because it means that pair is compatible or a match. However, if the recipient has antibodies against that donor, the donor and recipient would be considered incompatible as the risk for rejection of the donated kidney would be high. Your team will let you know if you have any anti-HLA antibodies and what that might mean for any potential donors. If a donor comes forward and they are not compatible with you, the donor can still donate on your behalf through a kidney paired donation, also known as kidney exchanges or swaps. Let's revisit Maria and her daughter, Rosalina. It turns out that Maria's blood type is A, while Rosalina's is B. This means they are not a match or are incompatible. 
we would not discourage Rosalina from donating because we can take advantage of the Kidney Paired Exchange Program. This is a program the donor, Rosalina, would donate her kidney to another recipient who she is compatible with, and the recipient, Maria, would receive a live donor kidney from a compatible donor as a part of a swap. Most swaps involved multiple donors and recipients as shown here. Overall, the goal of the paired exchange is to find better matches for all recipients involved, including you. In addition to blood type and HLA, a paired exchange can also look at age, distance, and timing of donation when checking compatibility. Do not limit yourself only to compatible donors as the paired exchange is available for any incompatible candidates too. If someone is healthy and willing to donate, they're welcome to apply. Any interested donors can visit www.mghlivingdonors.org to start the donor process.